doesn't mean an Al Qaeda event. What it means is uh, an event where the instability or the insecurity of the internet um, uh, becomes manifest, some major uh, uh, malicious uh, event. Which then I want everyone that is listening to us to understand that we need to now have a moment of silence for the internet that is, as we speak, being dismantled, being killed. So what happened is, since we are, uh, you know, doing so much for net neutrality and since we're so high profile as net neutrality activists, we also got a lot of people from inside the industry contacting us. We got people from like, like high level, uh, people from, from certain ISPs uh, contacting us, giving us inside information and stuff. And some very troubling things came out of that because we got multiple sources who actually confirmed that Pretty much any significant ISP is currently in on agreements and planning to take the whole net neutrality issue down by 2012. They're actually planning to just change the way the internet is accessed completely in four years from now. Um, this means that in a certain amount of time, probably four years, every internet provider around the world will just be switching to a new subscription model, being that the internet will look a lot more like TV. You pay a certain amount and you get access to a certain amount of sites, like, you know, just a bunch of mainstream, very popular sites. If you go beyond those websites and you want to access something else, some small website most people don't know about or just something more alternative, you have to pay extra, like it's an extra channel that you're trying to access. So it'll be put on your bill. So at first, there won't be that much of a problem other than that you have to pay a little extra for, you know, going to the non-regular, non-mainstream sites. But this will evolve because all those sites that you have to pay extra for, they will get their visitor count cut by 99% or something. Nobody will visit them anymore. Everyone will just watch the main channels. This will mean that over time, and this will happen very quickly, all those sites will simply stop. I mean, just imagine if you run a, a simple small site and you get like a, a little bit of income from the ads, just enough to, to run your site. When this new thing changes, you will get no visitors anymore, and I mean zero. Basically this means that uh, if we don't do anything to stop this, the internet as we know it could be gone in four years and be reduced to just a few commercial channels that you can choose from like TV and... If you will notice on most major cable modem systems in the US now, if you type an address in wrong, it doesn't go to a blank screen on your computer. It'll be Time Warner Roadrunner or it'll be Comcast Cable and they're running everything through their systems. They don't need to tap anything. You go through them as a gate. Your computer is coupled first into their system. This is a control grid to track and trace and make us second class citizens. Now under Internet 2, one facet of that plan, there's multiple tracks running on that, Comcast, Time Warner, others are doing it right here in Texas. Comcast is doing it in New York. Uh, other major, uh, the two major companies have announced two weeks ago uh, in Canada that they're going to decide what sites you visit, and they're only going to allow a couple thousand sites. It isn't just going to be Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. It is already just the vast majority of the internet, and so your computer becomes a glorified cable system with only a few thousand websites that you can visit. announce at the beginning, it's a consortium of private corporations, universities and government and DARPA and other foreign governments that quote the internet is dead and they say they're going to not fix the old hubs of the internet, they're going to let those degrade, they say that's their right to, to uh, do that, they also want the, the authorization by the federal government and the FCC, that Comcast just got told Friday that they, can, they have to stop doing what they're doing, filtering out the majority of the web and they are saying they're going to disregard the FCC, they don't have that regulatory power.
So, so the web was built to be free and open. You pay for it with your uh, websites you pay for, the people that are serving you pay for it with their servers and their bandwidth, you pay for it with your internet connection. We're getting more internet connectivity, we're getting more bandwidth, not less. They try to have Ted, Ted Stevens come out and say, oh, the pie's small, it's not getting bigger, we have to restrict it. Now he's indicted for all his crimes. There's no alleging those. We need listeners to understand, this is happening, this is coming down now. This has been declared.